Hi, welcome to another episode of Walks with Harvey. You'll excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera too much because I'm actually driving at the minute uh, on my way to Delamont Country Park, which is on Strangford Lock. I had planned to do another walk in the mornings this week, but uh, not been feeling great. Bit of a cold, bit of a sore throat, so I didn't want to go overexert myself and then feel terrible the rest of the week. So I thought we'd do something a wee bit, bit easier this week. So. Uh, yeah, Delamont has got a few different routes, all very family friendly and very accessible as well for anybody with disabilities, I believe. Uh, great wee park, they've got a, a sit on train you can have a ride on if you don't fancy the walk, cafe, play park for the kids and a few different routes around the park. Uh, the one I'm going to do is, uh, I think it's around five miles according to the Walk and I website anyway, so it's the longest of the routes around this bit and there's great views over Strangford Lock. So yeah, that's where we're on our way to. Harvey's in the back as usual, and we are joined by uh, Harvey's sister from another mother, Holly, is with us again. She's probably going to be with us on most of these walks, actually. Should really call it Walks with Harvey and Holly. But yeah, sometimes she'll not be out with us. But yeah, Harvey and Holly are in the back. So yeah, we should be there shortly. So yeah, welcome to another episode of Walks with Harvey around Delamont Country Park. Just on the drive along to the car park here. And uh, you do have to pay to park. I think it's only at weekends though and in the summer months probably during the week as well. But yeah, apparently it's four pound for a car. But I've just seen a sign saying you get a season ticket for, t for 25 quid. So if you're here, fairly regularly, that would probably be uh, worth your while. Hey, how are you doing? Cheers. Harvey's got his nice new uh, orange, uh, what do you call that, harness on. I think it makes it look like he was working on a building site or something. So, uh, yeah. Just going to get my bearings here, see where we are. This is the the, uh, the play park, obviously, and the picnic area. I think there's a sign which shows you all the different routes, so I'm going to see if I can see that somewhere. Well, there's our first clue anyway. <laughs> Long walk. Yeah, that's some, the route we're going to take. So just after you've uh, left the car park, only two minutes down the, down the path here, you've got a choice of which way you go. Uh, left towards Strangford Lock, or right to do a bit more of the, the country park before you get down to the lock. So we're going to go left and, and get to the park earlier on in the walk. No, sorry, get to the lock earlier on in the walk. I left it later in the day. It's, um, it's a Sunday afternoon in December towards the end of December, before Christmas though. So. And uh, yeah, I left it late in the afternoon, so hopefully get the sun a bit lower in the sky and maybe even get the sunset of Strangford Lock. It might just be a bit too early for that though. Now if you're into your fitness, uh, Delamont's a good place to come as well. They've got a lot of these uh, outdoor gym things sitting about. I think this must be uh, for doing, yeah, for Harvey, you don't need to pee on it, <laughs> for doing sit-ups and things like that on it. And there's a few of those dotted throughout the park. So you can make this walk into part of your, your exercise routine if you're that way inclined. Now for you, those of you interested in the tech side of things, uh, I'm actually using the, the mic this week, the Rode wireless mic which is, uh, I've got the wind protected buff thing on it. So uh, hopefully you heard me there from walking up from the distance. The part of it's attached to the GoPro, obviously the other part's attached to me. So yeah, just experimenting this week with uh, how these things work. So I've got it attached to a heavy tripod this week. I need to work out a solution for that. So we're 20 minutes in, only half a mile, and you get to this junction. Uh, you can either go left, which is one of the shorter walks, or take a right here to bring us down to the shores of Strangford Lock. Have a 
the junction here. As you can see, this walk is really well signposted. You don't really need too much instruction on uh, which way you're going. Right, just down at the shores of the lock now, uh, there's this wee map, shows us where we are. Now there is a wee path that goes down here, I just bumped into a couple of women who were going to go down this way, as I've said, it's very, very boggy down there, and I'm only wearing my light walking shoes today, not the uh, the full on big walking boots, but that, I don't think that's part of this route anyway, I think that goes down somewhere else, so we're just going to stick into Delamont Country Park today and not go, not go down that route. So let's keep going. Holly and Harvey experiment with this double lead again. I've got a longer black lead today, so this seems to be working a bit better. I say that at the minute, I'm probably gonna get tangled up again. This junction here, you could go down towards the forest and towards the lock. But I'm just going to take a wee detour up to the stone now before the sun gets too low. looking at the, the view, seeing where we're looking at. I thought I recognised earlier on, over there is a St. Uh, St. Patrick's statue at Saul. It's like, um, what do they call it, the Stations of the Cross, and you, and you walk up the hill, and then there's great views from there, over the lock as well. You probably can't see it from, <laughs> from the GoPro uh, view, but uh, yeah, it's just on the hill over there. I must do a walk up there one of these days. Not a massively long walk, it's only probably less than a mile to get up and, and back, but there is, there is great views. So where else are we looking? Uh, Salt Island as well. I think Salt Island is just, it's one of these ones over here. There's loads of wee islands dotted around Strangford Lock. It's a really excellent place for coming to do uh, kayaking and and those type of things. So uh, yeah, I think yeah, there's a wee hut on Salt Island, so if you, if you canoe over, you can actually camp on the island. We'll have to do that sometime this summer. Next summer, it's nearly 2020 now. So yeah, let's keep going, have a look at the, uh, the view. Have a look at the stone a bit closer up. There's a wee bit here explaining all the history of it, so we'll go over and have a look at that. Yes, yeah, so this was, uh, a big undertaking to get this, this stone put up here. It was put up for the millennium. Uh, I don't know if I'll read all of this to you. But I was watching a video earlier on. It was actually uh, mined in one of the last working uh, stone mines in the, in the Mourns. I think, does it say on there? From a quarry on Sleeve Donard, which is visible from here apparently. The McConnell family quarried a single block of granite weighing over 200 tonnes, the largest ever quarried in Ireland. Well, why? There we go, let's have a look at this one. Why, what do most people see a megalith standing stone? They wonder why it was erected. In Madagascar, where mag megaliths were part of the culture until the 19th century, King, oh, this is a good one, Andriana 
Poyne Marina, so you can tell me how to pronounce that really, said that working together to quarry and transport a stone is proof of mutual friendship and contributes to happiness. In 1995, a group of local people decided to continue this ancient tradition and bring 1,000 young people together to celebrate the start of a new millennium by pulling up the 1,000 centimetre high Strangford stone. They hoped as the peace process was gaining momentum to involve young people from all backgrounds in Northern Ireland to create a lasting testament to a shared future. Well, those are very good uh, sentiments there. Yeah, very slack on the uh, updates on the, on the walk today. Uh, yeah, to get to the Millennium Stone, it's 1.8 miles, one hour, 20 minutes, a lot of faffage today with the dogs and the, uh, the camera. So yeah, uh, the, the, take as long as you want on this walk because it's, it's not overly strenuous. So uh, yeah, just take your time and enjoy the view. Hopefully you're picking this up as well as I am. The view from up here at the stone, at the Millennium Stone, is absolutely stunning. Uh, the sun setting in the distance there towards the morns. So this is the point we took a detour up to the uh, up to the big stone there, and uh, not such a short detour for me, but it'd only take you five ten minutes if you wanted to take that wee detour at this part, point in the long walk. It doesn't actually feel that cold today, but down by this wee pond here, yeah, it looks like it's frozen over. I'm surprised at because I, I don't feel cold at all. It's certainly not freezing cold anyway. Once you get to the wooded bit after the pond, there are a few different routes to take, but they pretty much all I'll bring you back to the same place anyway, so as I said, don't worry too much about getting lost on this walk. You'll end up back at the main car park eventually. Just stopped for a wee break here, mainly because I ran out of battery. Two batteries on a short walk like this, it's ridiculous. Definitely too much faffing about with the camera today, but hopefully I got some nice shots of Strangford Lock and the Megalith there. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed those shots. So just on the coffee, and just about to eat the, uh, the cheese and tomato sandwiches wrapped in a, a waste caddy bag. Yeah, better get them out now don't want to spoil my dinner later on so hopefully we don't run out of this battery and hopefully we don't run out of light today pretty certain it is going to be dark when I get back to the car park now so yeah just gonna enjoy the coffee and then we can get on with the rest of the walk mm. you always got a certain smell of flat coffee is it the fact that it's been sitting in there brewing for a few hours As usual, I've been a bit slack with the updates on the time that it's taken to do the, the walk. Not that you really care anyway, but uh, so far we've done 3.1 miles and it's taken just about two hours, one hour 58. And it's a Corbally plantation that that's this far we've got. 
<coughs> did that make sense? Yeah, Corbally Plantation is how far we've got. I think that's what I meant to say. So yeah, two hours, three miles, really slow pace. It's not a race, it's not, it's not a race. <laughs> no sandwiches left, Harvey. Yeah, so we just set off on the last two miles of this walk now. I've put the heavy tripod back in the backpack. I'm just using the normal selfie stick, the short selfie stick. Brought a ridiculous amount of equipment out with me for a short walk. I've got the, the tripod, the three meter selfie stick, the normal selfie stick, my uh, bridge SLR camera, and the uh, GoPro with the road mic attached to it. So, uh, there's probably, uh, as these walks go on, I'll probably work out what is the optimum sort of combination of things to bring on these walks. Uh, but it is handy having the, uh, the big tripod, you know, for some of the, some of the shots of uh, the passing shots when you're down at the lock and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, it does seem like a lot to carry. But yeah, it's getting really dark now. We're just at the uh, the main entrance to Delamont here. So I might uh, finish the video here actually, because we've just got a little bit longer. And then we're back at the car park. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching another episode of Walks with, with Harvey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit like. It just means that if, uh, if, if you, if you like the channel, then you're getting more people watching it by doing these things. You've got to play the uh, YouTube algorithm game, get these things uh, bumped up the charts a wee bit. Not that I'm overly concerned, but it'd be nice to, to have a bit of a wider audience than five people who are my family members. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you'll see you on the next one. See ya.